Hello, fellow sun gazers, fellow sun worshippers. I want to share a little um, practice on how to use the sun for your sexual cultivation, for your sexual transmutation practice. The sun can be used with great effect to help you to transmute the sexual energy. And this is a little bit of yogic wisdom. So we're going to use a practice called Shambhavi Mudra. And the Shambhavi Mudra is the seal of Shiva, or Shambhavi is sometimes referred to as Shiva's Shakti, Parvati. But in the Shambhavi Mudra, it can also be named as the seal of Shiva, or the seal of the self, our true nature, our true self. So to do this practice, uh, you're gonna gaze at the sun, you're gonna do tratak at the sun. Tratak is where you fix your gaze on one point and keep your eyes steady, not moving. Keep your eyes open, not blinking. Uh, now when you do that on the sun, if the sun is too strong, feel free to blink your eyes because we don't want to hurt our eyes in this and blinking is a way of protecting the eyes. But if the sun is low enough, you can gaze on it without blinking. So you fix your gaze steady on the sun. And there are a few ways to perform Shambhavi Mudra. Um, but in the one I will share with you now, you absorb your energy into the central channel. So you fix your gaze on the sun. You keep your tongue up either behind your front teeth or a baby ketchiri where you do in between the soft and the hard pellet where the soft and the hard pellet meet if you pull your tongue back on the roof of the mouth and you feel where the soft and the hard pellet meet there is a little um, cave a little groove yeah you keep your tongue there and this helps to direct the energy up from the lower parts into your brain. So keeping your tongue up, keeping your eyes gazing at the sun, then you feel the sun energy as it enters your brain, you absorb all your attention back to a spot in the center of the brain, in the upper dantian. Yeah? So you absorb your energy right there, you absorb all your attention, like if you could pull, uh, our attention tends to go outward when we, when we look at something. So we want to pull that attention back and with the sun it's pretty easy because we can feel the energy of the sun entering through our eyes, entering to the brain. So with the rays of the sun also Pull back all your attention so you become firmly fixed in the center of the head, which is the central channel, the upper part of the central channel. So that's the first step. Now by just doing this, depending on how deep your absorption is, uh, and how much you have worked on your sexual energy, how much you have uh, done the sexual cultivation before, um, if you're doing semen retention and such practices, all will have an effect on this. So depending on how active your energy is, how active your sexual energy is, and uh, how much you worked with it before, will determine how effective this will be. So again, gazing at the sun, absorbing all your attention like you could pull the image back into the center of your head while you gaze at the sun tongue up and become firmly absorbed into that spot in the center of your brain this will bring you to stillness this will still your mind Now the second part of that 
is to at the same time as you're absorbing into the center of your brain and becoming aware there, fully firmly established in there, looking outside while absorbing inside, while absorbing everything into the central channel. First step. Second step, you become aware of the energy at the base of your spine uh, or in the second chakra, in the sexual center. And you just become aware there. While at the same time, you are still focused in the center of the head. Yeah? So you're splitting your attention between the center of your brain, absorbing everything in there, and the root. So you try to split the attention, keeping the attention at both those places at the same time, within the central channel that runs up through the core of our body. And by just doing this, by just absorbing everything into the center of the head and at the root at the same time, you will feel a pulling starts to happen where your sexual energy starts to being pulled up to this point. Yeah? This point, but in the center of the head. Your main attention is in the center of the brain, even though some of the attention is also at the root at the same time. And depending on how deep your absorption gets in this, you will feel that energy starts to rise. The energy from the root, your sexual energy, will start to rise towards your point of absorption in the head. And the sun will help greatly with this practice. The sun also increases our sexual energy and helps to transmute it by doing this practice. Let the energy do its thing, let it work its way up the central channel. It will become quite blissful if your energy is active. Now, of course, if you know the practice of full Kachari, where your tongue goes up into the nasal passage, this would be an excellent time to do that as well. And let your absorption deepen as you do this. Deeply absorb into the central channel. And enjoy, enjoy the bliss of the sexual energy rising up to the upper dantian. Now, after you have done this, this is quite um, upper dantian focused practice. So it's important to ground the energy afterwards. So after you've done this for some time and you feel like you had enough, uh, make sure you sink the energy down into the lower dantian, four fingers below your belly button, inside the body in the central channel, and store the energy there. And also, if you want to ground on Earth, standing on Earth after, it's a good idea. If you know microcosmic orbit, spin it a few times before you store the energy into the lower dantian. This is important because uh, we don't want to leave too much sexual energy in the head. It can have some uh, not so nice side effects. So make sure to sink the energy once you're done. If your energy is very active, if you've worked a lot on your sexual transmutation before, if you've done lots of semen retention, um, 
or sexual transmutation for women as well, then by just doing Shambhavi, by just gazing at the sun, absorbing into the upper Dantian as you gaze at the sun with the tongue up, that will be enough to feel this energy start moving up through the central channel, filling the upper centers with bliss as it uh, rises. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of yogic practice with the sun, the beautiful being that gives us life, fills us with life energy, and enjoy your sun gazing. Much love.